the book and I'm gonna leave the world alone. Look, get the book. Man, get the book and I ain't coming for y'all because we got a problem, man. I think I'm the dopest motherfucker in the world. I challenge anybody to some stories that I got, man. You feel me? You feel me? Night Dark Armor by K-Co, man. Scammy Tammy finna drive, bro. But she keep fucking with me so I get more for content for the book, y'all. Y'all don't know, though. No. Y'all you know talking about we gonna call this one, though. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm the good guy. I'm the nigga in the Gucci store getting the custom shit, getting the shit that they got on the runway that only be a special store. I'm the motherfucker that they know. But treat me like they treat me in the Gucci store. That's all I'm hollering to y'all. I only drink champagne when it's served by Gucci, though, and I'm trying fly shit on that ain't even nowhere in America but on my ball. <laughs> you feel me? But no, I told myself, I said, if I ever got to put a suit on, you know what I'm talking about? You, you might have to go to somebody's funeral you respect. And that's another thing about you bitch-ass niggas. You don't come to the funeral. Y'all turn these funerals into gangbang meetings and shit because y'all broke and don't got no establishments to come meet and talk about shit. That's so y'all using other people's deaths to, to, to manipulate and be snakes and shit. Y'all really wasn't even friends and fuck with like that, nigga. Y'all some bitch-ass niggas, but... Again, power suit. If I ever had to wear a monkey suit, I said, nigga, I'm coming in a Gucci suit, nigga. Fuck $10,000 chain, nigga. I'll pull up a bunch of $10,000 outfits, nigga. You know what I'm about then. See what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's all about action. Seeing is believing. See what I'm saying? Yeah, man, but we going to call this one, man. I stomped the nigga out with the Gucci loafs. Yeah, man, I done stomped the nigga out with the Gucci loss before. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even just stomp him out, man. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm Michael Jackson, that nigga. I'm Billy T. That's how I did him know, bro. And y'all ain't read the book yet, man, but I swear, man, if you ever watch an action movie, it's more action in that book than a motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to enjoy that motherfucker for real, though. I'm just saying, I'm the real Black Panther, man. I really hop out on the motherfucker and let it give him a go. I'll fight everybody, though. And when? Look, they said in the book. Remember Jet Li? The one <laughs> where he beat everybody up and he was like, I'm the motherfucking man. No, that, bro, like, I really did some shit like that. They all came for me. I was like, psh, psh, psh. That's nigga I stomped out, though. He tried to jump me, and again, I got him off my ass. Listen, did what you do to get your shit? Maybe I didn't break his jaw from the initial knockout. Uh, maybe it was when I went, eh, eh, psh, psh, hey, whoo, the whole city watching. So I don't know why y'all like shit, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Don't end up under the Gucci loafers thinking the nigga sweet and shit because I rock like this. Look. But anyway, what happened and what caused that and the book and everything, you better get it. Damn it. It's real shit. Nigga, it's better than the comic book. That's why it's got a comic book image of me and it's really some action shit. It's for a screenplay. We're going to turn it into a movie. You know what I'm saying? But they kidnapped my son, man. Is there not? Everybody evil now? Bro, my son was kidnapped, bro. Literally kidnapped. On some violent ghetto nigga bitch shit. You see what I'm saying? Kidnap my son because they wanted to do some gladiation. Literally. Like two girls is fighting the bitch that kidnap a child. Because she want to fight the other girl over some man they date. And then they drag an innocent superhero in this motherfucking. Knowing I'm going to stand on business. And do the right thing. You know what made T'Challa dope right? In the comic books. You know what made him powerful? I keep telling everybody. Like, not only could he channel all his ancestors, which made him the most powerful, but he was the most righteous and true. So the powers beyond knew you could entrust him with the most, like, you know what I'm saying, vibranium, the powerful, the infinity godlet, because he would do what was right and not say be corrupted by the power and say, you know what, I'm going to do what I want to do. He's going to do what's right. But back to the book. Right? Back to real story. Why wow, yeah, he got a nigga get stomped out by the Gucci loafs. Yeah. I stomped him out with the Gucci loafs. <laughs> no cat, bro. They look just like this. I got me some more, man. You feel me? And uh yeah, Gucci invented this uh horse buckle. They that's what they known for, not just the Gucci symbol, the horse buckle, so they double up on with the sway. Man, listen, man. I ain't for no niggas, man. This is for some, you know what I'm saying? It's about craze, man. This is something Prince Charmers wear when he get out the mother, when he pull a bad bitch out the pumpkin, though. No. But in the real life, the girl got the pumpkin. Yeah, man. And my drop tops, 
Don't turn back into fairy dust when the night over. Nah, we just keep on rolling, though. Man, we ain't no, no blessing. Back to the story, though, right? Kidnap my son. Niggas tried to kidnap my son from me. I take him back. They jump me. I get him off me. So when they see me that night, or he see me, he tried to get on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I had to let that dragon out on him. You know what I'm saying? The mild man or Clark kid, man, when he turned into Superman, it's a problem for even the government. Because can't nobody stop this motherfucker then. He, he just, he just, we just hope he cool. And that's what happened that night, man. You know what I'm saying? I front the whole city, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to rip, man, I had to do a fatality on him. You know what I'm saying? And then this nigga come to jail acting like he a victim. I was, man, these crib niggas and these motherfucking niggas, street niggas out here is bitches. That's what type of shit they do. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't no repercussion. Oh, this nigga telling on me after he attacked me and I defend myself. Ain't no stand your ground law. Ain't no self-defense, nigga. Yeah. So this nigga who tried to kill me not once but twice, you know, because I, I didn't tell on him or nothing or, you know, I kept it in the streets. Nigga tried to get on me and I lay him out. And nigga, here go the thing. I want to talk about fades too, right? Because y'all like, hey, man, catch a fade or something. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to come and be babysit you while I kick your ass and not hurt you too bad? Because if you wake up in the infirmary, nigga, it's something like that. Nigga, the, the hospital has a contract with the police to prosecute niggas for violence, to get their money back. They not just like, oh, we just tax paying everybody shit. No, it's a contract, bro. Violence and all that type of shit. You go in there, nigga, you hit. Yeah, somebody's getting a case. That's how the. That's how it's made. The police is being, yeah. You wake up sleep because I done sleepy deep you. You feel me? In, in, in a hospital or something, get dragged up, the ambulance come. Yeah. Have an ambulance picking niggas up and shit. Nigga, that, you ever seen that motherfucking movie where the nigga had his head pancake? That's how I did the nigga, bro. No, no cap. No cap. You ever, listen, nigga, him and his folks. Then they turn around and make it seem like I attacked everybody myself. Nigga, who am I? Fucking mutant? Nigga, they all in court talking about he attacked me, he attacked me. Y'all jumped me. That's me. Y'all jumped me, bro. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, I got over the top of that nigga. And was mixing him back, 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 back. Yeah, nigga, you kidnapped my son, bruh. I was proud to go in jail, bruh. I was still being there like, ha, ha, ha. What did the fuck you think I'm going to do? You kidnapped my child, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And told him to come get him like Tyson. And I did. Y'all talking about? But for sure, bruh. Hey, you see how egregious that is? Fuck you if you ain't just on some, some nigga named Walter Washington and Starlet Washington kidnapped somebody's son. You thought I was a punk. You thought I was a punk and that's why you got this done to your mouth. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Nigga, I knocked you out. You were like, even when you, I was like, uh-uh. Look, whole time I'm locking this nigga, this nigga sleepy deepies. I'm wop. I'm telling his folks come get him at your bed. So nigga, they try to come in and get him, nigga. And I'm like, huh, I'm catching them while they coming. Boom. So one go knocking this way. Somebody come try to get me off they phone. Hey, nigga, I, I sit him down. <laughs> I swear to God, man. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When that switch kick off. Uh, and them dragons come out of nigga. And, I, and we trying to get an understanding of what the fuck you was playing with a grown man for. With his child. Yeah, man. And that's why I wrote this book. How these niggas be playing because they expect you to play their nigga games. And then they ain't even going to play by the rules. Ain't no rules of this motherfucking shit. Nigga talking about Faye. Nigga, what if I break your motherfucking neck? That's my way of protecting. Nigga, listen. I'm being trolled, ladies and gentlemen. You can count it. We did the research by everybody I done knocked in the chin. Everybody I showed mercy to. Everybody who was literally like, uh, uh, I don't think the number, please. No, 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 I don't understand. Don't, oh, don't hit me. They're going to hit me. Yeah, I'm call me. I said, You're going to kill me, Cody. Please. That's why I used to rap it. I said, Making these niggas beg for Jesus. You feel me? I done heard these niggas beg for Jesus. And then you beg me. That's why I say, drip God, baby. You feel me? Because when Jesus don't come get you off of my ass, you be, Cody, man, listen, man. Cody! Hey, man, I just want, listen. 
You see what I'm saying? Literally all these niggas out of <laughs> caught and gave justice to dog out my own justice too. On some bullshit. I'ma catch you nigga. And I'ma stretch you about that bullshit we on. We going to the truth. I don't know why you chose me, motherfucker. But look, I, nigga, my nigga see me. He said, hey, you the only nigga I heard nigga whoop a nigga while you was talking to him, nigga. Why'd you do it, nigga? What you fucking with me for? Because my mama and they raised me good. Oh, man, and I ain't got a problem exercising no demons out. No fuck, motherfucker. But look, yeah, this nigga Walter Washington... Valley High Crip. Now, old niggas wasn't talking about snitching and he out of pocket and all that shit back then. This nigga coming to every court day. Like, I really committed a crime, bro. That's how they play. They gonna get you out the way any way they could. You talking, you see what I'm saying? And you just gonna be sitting there dumb as fuck even though you was right. Yeah, nigga. I was proud. I'm still proud, nigga. Yep, sure did. We called a margin motion. The judge seen what happened. It was like, bro, let me, come on, bro. The judge kicked everybody out and made me a deal. He said, you you did some real shit. Come on, bro, but you facing life, nigga, over a fuck, nigga. I'm going to throw you a deal and have you right back, nigga. Go ball on them like we already see you. That's I hate that, though. That's racist, Your Honor. Everybody tell me, bro, take the motherfucking high road. You got too much going. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If you can't protect this shit, Take it. <laughs> yeah, take what for me? Nah, man. Nah. Nah. I used to be the Black Panther. But then I realized I was more like Killmonger. Willing to die for my people. You see what I'm saying? No, no, no. Fuck all of this bullshit y'all gonna tell me. It's wrong, but man, Cody, man, let it be right. No. Throw me to the ocean where my ancestors jumped off the boats because they knew bondage was way worse than dying in this motherfucker. Let's go. And if you ever know me, motherfucker, you know what I say. Ha, 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 But you didn't die, though. You feel me? Yeah.